Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. This video is going to focus in on two really important concepts in logic, soundness and completeness. So I'm going to do this general topic over several videos. This one in particular is going to be a general introduction to those two ideas, like what are soundness and completeness? Okay, let's get going. Hello everyone, welcome to The Attic. My name's Mark Jago, I'm a philosophy professor in the UK. I've been doing a series of videos on proofs in logic with proof trees. In this video, we're going to start reasoning about how well do these proof trees work, thinking about soundness and completeness. So in this video, it's going to be what does that mean? What is soundness? What is completeness? And then in subsequent videos, it's going to be about how do we actually prove this stuff in relation to the proof trees that we've been looking at so far. Okay, so if that sounds good to you, do me a favor before we get going, give this video a thumbs up and why not subscribe to the channel? Okay, so when we're talking about soundness and completeness, in the context of reasoning about a proof system, what do we mean? Let's take a look. So this sentence I've written here is soundness. It captures the idea of soundness. X here is the premises in the argument, A is the conclusion. So this is something we're trying to prove. This says that X proves A or that we can prove A as a conclusion from X as premises using natural deduction or a proof tree or whatever. This says that A follows logically from these premises or that the premises entail this conclusion, okay? So what soundness is saying is if we prove something, then it's true. It's a genuine logical entailment. So whenever we prove a conclusion from some premises, that conclusion really does follow logically from those premises. If we prove something, then it's true. That's soundness. This statement here, it's basically very similar, but going the other way around. So it says, if we've got a genuine entailment from some premises to a conclusion, then we can prove it. So whereas soundness says that anything we prove is a genuine entailment, completeness says if we've got a genuine entailment, then we can prove it. Completeness is our guarantee that our proof system does enough. It captures all the entailments out there. Whereas soundness is telling us that if we get a result from our proof system, then it's a true one. It's a genuine entailment. Soundness and completeness, they're both important principles when we're talking about a proof system for a logic, but I guess soundness is the more kind of basic, really important principle. If you've got a proof system and it's not sound, that is sometimes it tells you some stuff and that stuff isn't true, you kind of don't have a proof system there at all. You've got something that might just be giving you junk, right? So whenever we're talking about proving something, it's kind of part of the concept that we're proving something that is genuinely the case. If we're proving an entailment, a conclusion from some premises, it's part of the concept of a proof that it really is a genuine entailment. That conclusion really does follow from those premises, okay? So soundness is our guarantee that our proof system, kind of proof in inverted commas, genuinely gives us what we want from a proof. So soundness, that's kind of non-negotiable, right? For a good proof system, it's got to be sound. Completeness, well, you know, that's important too, but I guess it's not quite so important. So for one thing, not all logics out there are complete. That is, not all logics have a complete proof system available. Some logics, so in particular classical second order logic, there's just no complete system available for it. And a lot of people think that mathematics is kind of second order logic, it's kind of set theory, okay? So if that's right and mathematics is incomplete, that is we can't prove all the truths of mathematics, well, Maybe that's not the end of the world because we can still prove lots of them. 
So you might think that, yeah, in simple cases, completeness is important and lots of the simpler logics, logics that are simple than all of mathematics, we can prove all of the entailments in those. OK, that's a good thing to have. But for more complicated cases where we can't necessarily prove everything, it's not the end of the world. OK, but it is super important that any proof system we're putting forward as a good system is sound. That is, it only gives us an answer if that answer is true. OK, let's go into a little bit more detail here and let's just focus in on soundness. The same kind of stuff will go for completeness. When we're talking about soundness, what are we talking about? What are we talking about here and what are we talking about here? Well, here we're talking about proof. OK, but we've already seen that there are lots of different ways of doing proofs. There's natural deduction, there's tree proofs, there's other systems like Hilbert proofs, there's resolution systems, there's a bunch of other stuff. We could even use truth tables if we're thinking about propositional logic. So what do we mean here? Well, it depends, right? We're not talking so much about soundness or completeness in general. We're talking about a particular proof system, OK? We're talking about the tree test or a natural deduction system or whatever. So we're going to be saying, oh, this proof system is sound or this proof system isn't sound. Over on the right here, we're talking about entailment in a particular logic. OK, so this might be classical propositional logic. It might be classical first order logic. It might be some other more exotic logic. It might be relevance logic or whatever. So there's kind of two extra parameters that are involved when we're talking about soundness or completeness. We're talking about a specific logic and we're talking about a specific proof system for that logic. So we might say, for instance, that the truth table test is a sound system for classical propositional logic. That's true. We might say that the tree system of proofs is a sound system for classical first order logic. OK, given the right kind of trees. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you'll hear people talking about completeness or incompleteness of not a particular proof system, but of a logic in general. OK, so earlier on, I said that second order classical logic is incomplete. You've got Gödel's famous incompleteness theorem. Whereas you might say that classical first order logic is complete. So there I haven't mentioned any particular proof system. I've just said that these logics are complete or incomplete. What does that mean? Well, to say that a logic is complete kind of means that there is some proof system available for it. OK, so a complete logic is kind of like a shorthand for saying some proof system for this logic is complete. And to say that a logic is incomplete is to say that there is no possible proof system for that logic that is complete. So no possible proof system would give you all the facts about entailment in that logic. OK, guys, so there we have a super short introduction to the concepts of soundness and completeness. So what's coming up next? In the next video I'm going to release, I'm going to go a bit deeper into how we might start going about proving soundness and completeness and how it relates to the tree test. So I've got a bunch of videos on the channel going into detail about how you prove arguments in logic with the tree test. So there in the next video, I'm going to be looking at specifically what soundness and completeness mean when we've got the proof tree system in mind. OK, and then after that, we're going to go into detail on like, how do you actually prove soundness? What are the steps you go through? And then how do you prove completeness? going through all the steps. So if you want to hear about when I release those, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, you'll get notifications of when they come out. If you found this video kind of useful, interesting, whatever, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me to get this content out there to other people. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment below and I hope to see you back here soon.